This video should be taken very seriously. The tips you'll be given today will help you out and make you a better player. So please pay attention and don't take it for granted. Thank you. Much love. Let's go, baby. Viewer discretion is advised to learn. What is up guys, Apathy back in the building today with another video. And today what I'm going to be talking about is how to not suck at Call of Duty. I'm going to give you guys some really good tips and really informative tips to help you guys get better, improve, and not suck. So first things first, you need an enhanced controller. Now obviously by enhanced, I mean a scuff, a battle beaver, a cinch, a crawler, whatever enhanced controllers out there, you need one of those. And now this is why. Yes, it's kind of considered cheating, but guess what? You need to level the playing field. There's thousands maybe hundreds of thousands using a scuff, a battle beaver, a cinch, I don't even know what else, what other companies are out there, but they're using these enhanced OP controllers. And you on the other hand, maybe or not. And yes, it costs money, but this is something I think it will help you out. And trust me, it will benefit you in the end. You see myself, I have something like a scuff. Got some paddles in the back, click, click, boom, boom, jump, shoot. It's easy, simple, and effective. The next biggest tip I can give you guys is grind. This is something so easy, yet many, many, many fail to do so. Now, this is some real shit I'm about to tell you guys. Any time I've ever been successful in Call of Duty or at my prime, at that moment, if at that period of time, I was grinding, I was working my ass off, I put in a lot of time, a lot of hours, I was focused on getting better, and that is only and the only reason why I became I got successful or became successful or I was at my prime where I was a beast listen put in the time only then will you perfect your craft next tip get good practice quality over quantity this is something that is super 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 crucial I don't care if you played a 1v1 versus your friend for a McChicken a hundred times a thousand times that is not gonna get you better like I understand right now people are grinding for pro points they're playing a lot of GBs and yeah you know what that may not be the best practice but at least they're playing pro players, at least they're playing top amateur players, because a lot of pros and amateur players are playing this right now. So at the end of the day, it's still kind of good practice, and you also get different game modes, different game types, so you're playing search, you're playing every different respawn. So in the end, it is pretty... Bennett, like it's it helps you know but my main point is when you're playing tournaments gbs scrims whatever it is go hard play to learn win or lose don't take the time you have on for granted now of course another tip and it's important but obvious shoot straight this isn't that hard but if you're a beginner or you're a noob and you still don't have that shot it takes time lower your sensitivity don't be that guy trying to world star everyone doing like 360s and 50 spins and you're trying to look cool and all like, I get it. It looks cool. You know, you're a badass. Like, watch out, bro. You might kick my ass. But, like, just lower your sensitivity, man. No need to go any higher than, like, six or f even five. Like, stay five or lower. The more you play, the better your shot will be. So, just put in the time and you'll be golden. Trust me. Lastly, drop the ego and take the criticism. This will get you so much better. And This is so, so, so important. And probably out of everything I've told you today, this is probably the most important thing. Or at least... At least, at least close to the most important thing yes i know we as humans have so much pride and we never want to be wrong like it's understandable but this is something you need to accept this is something that will get you better and i promise that you don't have to agree with the criticism it's normal but try to be open-minded and try to see what he's saying is correct and if you think it's kind of right try to learn from it gain his information like the whole point of playing as a team sometimes your teammate will be like hey you're doing this wrong and this is something you never noticed that you're doing it wrong but he pointed that out and now he gave you that information for you to get better so instead of ignoring be like oh you're wrong you're stupid like you suck oh my god like one more team with you instead you 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 take that information be like all right next time i'll play my life next time i'll sit in the spot and it's gonna make you a better player in the end of the day we all had the same goal we all want to win like everyone on the team wants to win Win. they're not going to be telling you something for no reason you know what i'm saying so just remember that and try to take the criticism so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like it helps a lot and hopefully this was a really informative video to you guys and help you out a bunch you know these are really important tips and i think one of the most important tips when it comes to being better and not sucking at call of duty and you can kind of apply this to almost any game at least shooter games and i just thought this was a very important video and i wanted to help you guys out you know i try to do tips and stuff here and there and like try to help you guys and you know inform you guys and give you guys tips on how to get better and stuff like that so hopefully this video helped out a ton really really listen to what i've said if you need to watch it again watch it again but really take in that information and trust me you will become a better player this has been your boy apathy make sure to like comment subscribe again and i'm out peace